Right, your wish is my command. We're back again with some more power data. Today is Van der Poel's. So we're only going to do a little bit of his because otherwise it just takes too long. But what we're going to focus on is his after his off-season break. So you can see he didn't really have much time off, to be honest, after October. But he had a pretty easy week and then got into training here and did a, a solid three weeks into his first cross race. And what we're going to do is have a look at what sort of intervals he was doing and like how he structures his training. Now, Okay, we've got an Excel spreadsheet here, so it's going to be a little bit complicated to sort of see it just because of the way Excel is. But anyway, <clears throat> this is on the 26th of the 10th, so this is this month here. So uh, you can see, I don't know if he uploads all his training, but I'm, I'm kind of confident he does, but maybe not. Anyway, this is only nine hours, but he basically just does some endurance rides. They're like maybe 250, 260 normalized, nothing crazy, but again, not super easy either. Um, but for a guy like him, not not too hard. So anyway, you can see here again, this is kind of just getting into it. But once he starts training, he really doesn't mess around. So this is like a five day block. So you can see there's four hours endurance with like 350 watt surgery. He's the kind of guy who likes to just whack it on training. It seems again, you can see there's some sprints. He likes his running. You'll see running gets more and more prevalent. He's actually quite a quick runner as well. Um, and then four hours, he does like some some efforts here, 454 watts for five minutes. He does some like intervals with Jani Vladimir and they were doing fat max intervals. So again, that's kind of like high zone two, low zone three. Um, often, I wouldn't say traditional with cyclocross, but maybe he just kind of does it for lols. I think he's not too serious at this time of year. And these are his first intervals. He does two by six of 30 30s, an average of 430 watts. Um, and his ons were about 600 watts in a three hour ride. So this I'd say is the first proper training week. Um, I believe if we look at it, it was about a 20 hour week ish. Um, which is pretty strong. Yeah, 19 hours 52. Okay, and most of this was done with Jani Vermeer. Sunday, he had a day off. Um, I don't think he seems to like rest day rides or maybe doesn't upload them, but anyway. Then we get into a four day block, which is how he seems to like to structure his training. Four days on, one day off. So the first day, not too hard, four hours, you know, some intensity on the climbs, but again, that's kind of tempo for him, 320 watts. This is based on a threshold of maybe 440. It could be a little bit higher, it could be a little bit lower, but probably around that. Five hours endurance, like 240 normalized. And then we go into Wednesday is actually quite a big day for him. So you can see he doesn't do his efforts fresh, which normally you kind of expect they would be. Uh, so he does a run in the morning and then he does tempo spikes. So these are 18 minutes on at 340 watts with 20 seconds at sort of 600 in between. Um, he does that twice and then cracks out sort of a calm effort at the end. Um, so we can see uh, uh, that might actually just be the run. Sorry about that. I don't think I have this on uh, this link, which is a bit poor from myself. But anyway, uh, we then have Thursday where it's kind of a weird day. He just does a run, which is a decent pace. And then an hour, just like 300 normal, is just pretty hard. Um, again, nothing crazy, but again, not like an easy, easy ride. So I kind of don't get that. But anyway, some of the stuff doesn't seem like kind of really obvious what the training effect is, but maybe he just wants to have more fun. Friday day off. And then Saturday, this is when he really gets on some big efforts again. Three by six at 30 30s averages about 440 watts. So, an increase on last week in terms of in obviously like power, but also he adds another set. And then he also did a three and a half ride hour ride in total. So, we can look at this ride here and you can see like pretty, pretty big. Um, and also, he includes the off part. So, if we get rid of the off part, it's 463 watts for five and a half minutes, which is strong. Again, this interval here, we can see. 454 watts so like six watts per kilo so nothing crazy watts per kilo wise but again watts wise pretty impressive 462 watts but that's all he does the whole day the rest of it super easy you can see before um 280 normalized with some well actually to be fair this is actually looks quite hard um he does some sprints here so you can see actually i kind of missed that out i don't know what happened to charlie's uh brains at this point but you can see here actually it's not that easy. There's just like some continuous sprints riding in between 220 and then some sprints into some 30 30s. So pretty, pretty decent session all around. Um, and then on Sunday, again, a run and he does three hours um, and he does like some efforts on the rats, sort of like high tempo, um, low threshold maybe for him. And then you can see again, he's going on to a, an absolute monstrous block now. So you can see he does actually sort of like a five day block here. Two and a half hours, um, tempo on the climbs, you can see. So he does eight minutes, 320, eight minutes, 370, an hour, at like 300 normalized in between, and then does some more just climbs here. Tuesday, again, pretty hard ride, 30 minutes to 370 normalized, which is at the end of the ride. And he also, um, sorry, that was the beginning and the end of the ride, he does some like fatigue resistant efforts, where it's like 430, 
followed by 280, six times with a two minute rest in between and the two minute rest was done at 280. Wednesday, again, uh, some more sort of like uh, lower intensity efforts, but still um, zone three, uh, like 340 watts for half an hour times by two, there was about four minute rest in between. Thursday, again, nothing crazy, four hours, 330 normalized sprints at the end, 15 seconds at 1300 watts by four, um, which is pretty strong actually at the end of the ride. It was a pretty tough ride all around. Again, Friday, the last day of the block, again, super, super impressive numbers. Um, you can see them here, very, very good day off, and then does a cross race. So that's basically his training. So it's the three weeks leading into Hulst, um, which was pretty impressive. You can see here, like, he's just doing a, a lot of intensity, as I said before. It's kind of not super, super structured, but you can see, like, it's a big uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven day block. That's pretty big, isn't it? Um, you know, that's a pretty pretty impressive block to crack out in one go and then has a day off and then we look at his tapering so he tests cross bites a pretty easy day out so you can see the taper starts a good week before not like five days easy hour um and then does some more easy rides has a day off on wednesday does again some more easy rides easy rides a couple surges on swift like some sort of 500 watts a lot of these don't have power i'm not sure why and then the the day before the ride has some sprints and a three minute threshold effort but there's no power and then hulst um, I'm pretty sure if we uh, have a look on this, I'm pretty sure he won it, but I can never remember with cross as much. Um, host? Uh, yeah, he won host on the 27th. So pretty impressive build up. But yeah, that's what Van der Poel seems to do to get fit. A lot of 30 30s, decent amount of tempo um, and some spikes as well. But anyway, I hope you did find this video interesting. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one.